The Aspire Visa credit card is not really that great. This is the Rock and Roll Weather Man. My name is Sean Morrison. And yes, it is a credit card I did have for a year between 2023 and 2024. Different than the Aspire Visa I did have between 1999 and 2001. But getting back to this Aspire Visa, you know, all the time my, my credit wasn't that great, but, you know, sometimes you get desperate for cards because you want to get a new card because your other cards are maxed out, etc. And then you see this card, and the next thing you know is that, you know, the interest is ridiculous because that's what ends up happening. I mean, the annual f fee is like $49 a year. The first year is 175 for the year. And then what sucks is I did have, I did realize this, is that after the first year, there was a monthly fee, and it was $12.50. Some places have, Wild Up says 5 to twelve fifty, but after the first year, I, I get a, my card was, I had my card down to zero about four months afterwards, and I rarely used the card. I would use it just to buy a couple things keep the card active and everything. Next thing you know, in the second year, I had my, when, you know, when the first year finished, my bill was like 60 bucks. And I'm like, what the hell? And then I found out it was 12 50 a month. You know, for the time you had the card. I called up, I canceled the card. Sorry, nothing personal. But I really didn't need the card anymore because, you know, I fixed my credit, basically got all my credit cards down to zero. I included Capital One cards, I included one from the, the Blaze card, MasterCard. You know, there was other cards out there, but, you know, once I got my balances basically down to zero. And then I really didn't need this card. And then when I saw it was going to be charged twelve fifty a month, and I honestly forgot about it. I know I took a chance getting in the card, but, you know... I decided to cancel the card. Friends, if you're not subscribed to the Show Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else has to subscribe. Thank you much for the continued love, honor, and support. It is greatly appreciated. You know, the best features of the card are the credit limit. You can get up to $1,000. Mine was $750. Mo monthly credit bureau reporting. Solid rewards. The cardholders earn 3% cash back when paying for gas, groceries, and household utilities, as well as 1% cash back on all purchases. But if you don't pay the card's bill... In full a month, the very high Aspire credit card interest rates will quickly um, wipe out your um, savings. And the interest rate could be 29.99% or 36%. Mine was 29.99%. And it's nothing, um, it's nothing personal at all. I know there's an Aspire MasterCard, but I believe mine was a Visa. Yeah, it might not be a visa. Because now I remember. But either way, um, you know, once I fixed my credit, like I said, I didn't I didn't really um need the card anymore. So there you go. With the spire. And just Basically got rid of it. There are the credit cards I do want to get rid of, but Aspire um, had to be one because I'm not going to pay a monthly fee for something I'm not going to um, be using. Maybe mine was a MasterCard. I don't know because I'm looking at the logos, but there are some that are Visas or used to be. I can remember the Aspire Visa. I'm not actually looking at one too, but either way, high interest rates, definitely not worth it. Your thoughts, friends. Shame, shame. Shame.